What up, fam? This is your boy Street News TV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And first and foremost, I just want to say shout out to the motherfucking SN TV gang. Without y'all, this wouldn't even be possible. We on our way back to 5,000 subscribers and we moving fast. I need y'all to keep on doing what y'all been doing, man. Of course, this episode is about um, King Lil J, aka Double O. Now, Lil J comes from that um, same area that JoJo's from, around 69th. Um, I, I don't know specifically what block, but I know he comes from around that area. He ended up getting affiliated with um, FBG, Duck, STL, MOB, and all of them. And FBG, Duck, and Lil, Lil J ended up being real cool. So, um, like I heard Duck say in one of his um, Zach TV interviews, this is the reason why um, Lil J was so protected over there. Well, actually, I wouldn't say protected. He was good over there. As, as we all know, if you follow the drill scene, Jay is, uh, he's nicknamed the Bulletproof Man because he's been shot um, anywhere from 14 to 16 times. Now, it's been said that uh, rumors that, you know, 21 times, 22 times, but it's actually from 14 to 16. And the reason why I don't even got an exact number on that is because Lil J um, actually said in a Say Cheese interview that he got shot 14 times, okay? And um, in that Hang With Me remix, he said, um, got shot 16 times, now unreplenished. You know what I'm saying? So I think that it's something that he kind of plays with for real. But um, it's anywhere from 14 to 16 times that this dude have been shot. Allegedly, rumors rumor has it that uh, Inky D shot him one of those times. Uh, reportedly, it was two occasions where he got shot um, seven times, and uh, one of those times was reportedly uh, Inky D. What's up, dog? Hey, y'all niggas want to get on Instagram? Wolf of y'all some goofies, man. Where the fat boy at? Fucking clown. Man, hold on. Here he ass, man. Why you call? You always call him on me, fat man. Man, what the fuck? Is, what's up? What y'all? Well, y'all, y'all not even in town, man. Huh? Y'all, where y'all at? Out of town somewhere at the hotel? Yeah, we're in Y'all some fucking goofy, G. You want to put on Instagram, call him my phone. You got my number, call him my phone. You got my number saved, G. You know my fans, you listen to my show. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, look, Jay, on BD, you know who you talking to, bro. Don't I know your ass a flat ass goofy or Tuka, period. Oh, oh, look, you was a goofy goofy. You know, he oh, was a Tuki, real, goofy, real goofy. Hey, hey, you broke his hell, shorty. Put the fat boy on the phone, man. That's talking all the shit on Instagram. But what are you just talking about? You trying to call me on Instagram for good job, goofy ass, shorty. Put the fat boy on the phone, man. That's talking all the shit on Instagram. But what are you just talking about? You trying to call me on Instagram for good job, goofy ass, on some money, broke ass niggas. You got that wool ass pelly, yo. Fuck your goofy ass, so ugly. No one has a full protection order in the city of Chicago by no gang. I don't give a fuck who they is. You know, the biggest guys, some of the biggest guys get hit. But yeah, he ended up introdu he ended up uh Kells ended up ended up introducing Jay to uh to FBG Duck. They got real cool. So now Duck and the Cloud Boys, they were already pretty much established. They were already doing music. But when Lil J came, Lil J brought a different type of energy. You know, he brought a, a different type of energy to the game. And the people gravitated towards Lil J's energy a lot more than they were gravitating towards um, FBG before J. Now, I don't feel like Lil J made FBG and I don't feel like FBG made, you know, Lil J. I feel like they made each other. You see what I'm saying? And um, you got you to gotta admit, like... Before J, FBG wasn't popping like that. You know what I'm saying? They was popping, but they weren't popping like they was after Lil J. Like, Lil J was getting millions and millions of views on everything. You know what I'm saying? He was selling clothes. You know, he was, he was fucking all the females and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was going down. Like, when Lil J got that. You know, you know, and that's just facts. Now, me, myself, personally, do I feel like Lil J was rapping better than um, anybody in FBG? No. I felt like Lil J, he was decent. He was decent as a rapper, but um, a lot of the shit that Lil J has done when it comes to the drill scene and when it comes to just the music in general is legendary. Um, that's that, which is one of the reasons why I chose to do this video on Lil J. Um, Lil J said that uh, he started 
Famous Dex, he started Famous Dex rapping. And I truly believe that. You know what I'm saying? Him and Famous Dex, you know, they still real cool to this day. Also, Lil J said that um, Drake stole one of his dances. And yes, that's confirmed. Drake did steal one of his dances. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, have, Nobody had ever did that dance. We had never seen that dance before Lil J came out with it. Um, he's did a lot for the drill scene, especially when it comes to, um, like I said, FBG. Duck said something in the interview dealing with, you know, how uh, Lil J and FBG ended up coming at odds. First of all, he said that Jay wasn't hanging with FBG like that before he got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Jay had branched off um, him and Tunchi, which is, um, of course, everybody know who Tunchi is, FBG Butter. Um, you know, they were doing their own little thing or whatever. Uh, Jay had started something called WTO. He said that he's still FBG in an interview that I seen, but he's, it's, F, it's, it's WTO of everything. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, they, they came at odds about some shit. Um, reportedly, Jay supposed to have been stole some money from some of the guys or something like that. Also, it was some undercover shit that Jay did, according to Duck, that, you know, Duck said that he didn't want to talk about. Now, we all know that him and Butter ended up locked up on a, some bullshit for real, you know. How I heard the case, you know, what, what happened, I heard it was just, you know, basically that they ended up caught up in some bullshit. And if you watch that FBG Butter interview with Status Update, he confirmed that they, you know, they went in there and they, they, you know, they said too much. They should have just shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? He said that out of his own mouth. I kind of believe that. Jay would have already actually been out by now. He was offered an eight-year plea <clears throat> a while back, a couple years back, and he didn't take it. You know what I'm saying? So he definitely would have been out by now. Um, and then when you look at the fact that Butter's out right right now, you know, he, he definitely would have been out. Um, do I think... Lil J will uh, get out and get back with FBG. Nah, I think it's it's definitely something, some underlying shit going on that we you know we we don't know about and we probably would never know about unless Jay talk about it. Cause Duck, you know what I'm saying? Duck wouldn't talk about it. Lil J had all the clout. True enough, um, there was some rumors that started to be spread about Lil J. You know about him being part of the. Um, alphabet community in jail you know i gotta choose my words wisely i think i seen tay 600 on the live saying that jay looked at like he had been taking um hormone pills or something you know what i'm saying which was which was hilarious but um do i believe jay is gay you know i don't that's that's something that you know i don't i don't know i wasn't there you see what i'm saying i've never been locked up with jay i can't confirm that so you know and then on another on another level I look at it like this. If I like your music, what your sexual preference is it? What your sexual preferences is, you know what I'm saying? Personally, that don't like that that has nothing to do with me. You see what I'm saying? I know what I am. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I can't really, you know, cuz it's a lot of motherfuckers that we will never know about that is, you know, they like that anyway. But we listen to that music every day and we just don't know it. So, you know, that be the only difference in that. So, I don't see, you know, if a person is a is a, is a, is an op or anything, you know, and they got good music or whatever, I don't see, you know what I'm saying? I shit, I listen to it. You feel what I'm saying? Cuz that don't got nothing to do with me what he doing in his personal life. And I think that's what a lot of people get you know, just the just the lifestyle or the, or the famous and all of that, you know, a lot of people get that get that misconstrued. I mean, you know, true enough, to much is given, much is required. Don't get me wrong, but you cannot dictate or predict or even have a problem with or none of that nothing that someone's doing in their personal life like you know you're not feeding you're not feeding them you know what i'm saying that's why i always tell a lot of these older guys that are even older than me to act like they don't understand this you can't just get out here and preach bro and think that you telling a motherfucker something good, even though it, it might be good information. You can't just do that. You can't just get out here and preach and tell me, oh, you need to stop selling drugs. You need to stop robbing people. If you have no art alternative for me, man, you don't got nothing else I can lean on. If I stop selling drugs, then how the hell I'm going to stop selling drugs? How my family going to eat? 
You'll tell me to get out here and stop doing this and stop doing that. But you provide me no alternative. And then, you know, a motherfucker might say, well, it's not his responsibility to provide you with no alternative. Exactly. And it's not his responsibility to get out here and tell me what the fuck I should and shouldn't be doing either. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just how the shorty's going to look at that every time. Lil J, I'm I'm gonna say Chief Keith had a lot to do with um you know by them beefing with Chief Keith and them dissing each other and things of that nature. I mean you know they had a uh, Chief Keith kind of had a lot to do with you know the clout that um, Jay had, and I feel like it's crazy because people think that you know especially the younger guys they think that dissing guys and all of that they think that that's really like even though it's disrespectful. They don't understand that that's really like clouding them up too. That's one thing that dissing does. Because when you dissing Tuka and dissing Tuka and dissing Tuka, eventually motherfuckers going to want to start trying to figure out like, okay, who is this dude that he keep on dissing? Then when he look at that, he going to look at, okay, where's, what, you know, where is he from? Then you're going to start looking at motherfuckers this, you know what I'm saying, around wherever Tuka's from. So really it's like that dissing shit really like be helping the ops for real. Because truthfully speaking, it's a lot of artists and a lot of neighborhoods that I learned about, you know what I'm saying, after I heard motherfuckers dissing them. A lot of dead guys that I learned about after I heard motherfuckers dissing them. So, you know, that's kind of like a, a two-edged sword. But, um, yeah, like I said, that's, you know, that's one way how Jay got a lot of his clout because Jay used to do a lot of dissing too. One thing that I did notice about Jay in some of his last, um, a couple of his last interviews, the ones that he did in jail, Jay said that he is no longer BDK. Jay, um, you know, he done made amends with a lot of his ops. And I feel like that's one reason, too, why Duck Nim not fucking with Jay like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Jay done been in that, been in that jam now, and he sees that, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's some, it's the shit fake. You know what I'm saying? That gang banging shit, a lot of times that shit be fake, like. When you get jammed up like that, most of the time you ain't gonna have nobody, you know what I'm saying, nobody, you know, behind you in those situations. And, you know, I don't know Jay personally. Duck said Jay was a grimy nigga. I don't know. But even still, you being a grimy nigga, you still gonna have some motherfuckers that, you know what I'm saying, look out for you on the kind of shit you gain. Or you supposed to anyway. So, you know, Jay, that's what type of shit he on, though. He on some. You know what I'm saying? He ain't BDK no more. And he, he he on some, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Like, I heard him say that he wanted to do something for the community. So he on the right track mentally. So I definitely give him two thumbs up for that. Because most of the artists that's out, they not even talking like that. And y'all know eventually, like, we going to have to get to a point, bro, where it's going to have to be a motherfucking, probably be a revolution. A revolution, bro. And the revolution going to be the the ones that wanna the ones that's tired of the bullshit and, and wanna do something about the problem and the ones that wanna keep the problem going. That's who it's gonna be between. And it's more of us that wanna do something about the problem than it is of us that actually wanna, you know what I'm saying, continue to cause the problem. So man, um big ups to Lil J on that. And I, I just hope when Lil J get out, man, I hope that Lil J, you know what I'm saying, he do his thing, man, and step out the streets, bro. Just focus on rapping. Cause he already got a fan base. He got a blue check on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? I want to say he got like a hundred and some thousand followers. All he got to do is get out, man, and do whatever the fuck he want to do in life, man. He's still going to be young. He got his whole life ahead on. It's your boy, SNTV. I'm out. I'm on spot. Mm, what the fuck going on? Mm, it's the front. Get out. Get out. Kick a dose. Shit is real. Shit crazy. Kick ass police, y'all ass. Serve and protect the chief. Yeah, I know. At all, nothing. I know. You nothing. So fucking tough. Nothing. Yeah, y'all not serve and protect the chief. Yeah. Y'all yeah. ass yeah. scared. Yeah, I know. You so fucking tough. Fucking cowards with guns and.